Howdy YouTubers, welcome to the 500th episode of Rocking Fun Music with Kid Cal 69 I was thinking, what should I do for my 500th episode? And I've decided to make a very rare vlog. Vlog, vlog, whatever you want to call it. And what I'm making this vlog about is what YouTube has meant to me and my family. YouTube has kept approximately 15 of us all together that are located all over the country. We started out down at a record store called Just Having Fun Music where Jan Fever is the boss and I am her sidekick. And my sidekicks are CJ425 and Angel Face 713. Well, Jan Fever has two boys that are in the military and Bobby and Tony are stationed, one in Alaska, one in Iraq. They watch the videos. It keeps them posted on what us crazy girls are doing back here. It allows them to see their brothers and sisters, their mom, their dad, and their friends. So YouTube has been a tool that has kept us all together. And we can't forget Prissy B out there in North Carolina. So all of us can watch each other's lives daily. My original concept for Rocket Fun Music was to be a television show. It's still out there. It's still being sent to all the studios out in California and all the networks and it's still out there ready to be published you know who wants to watch a show about a record store that has several crazy women trying to make it one day at a time I think it would be pretty entertaining myself and another thing YouTube has meant to me is it has helped me stay sober many 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 nights that I when I first got sober that I wanted to go out drinking or that all my friends were at the bars. I was too busy uploading, downloading, and writing letters to my YouTube friends. So where did I have the time to drink? And the support I found online is unbelievable. A lot of you know CJ425 and I are continually, continually in some kind of dilemma. She's 18 years old and she's out there finding herself. And it's so hard for me to allow her to be out there finding herself because I was there once and I made the wrong decisions. So I'm constantly, constantly on her and she's just had enough. She just wants her freedom. But what YouTube does is it gives Courtney and I a common ground where she does her show, I do my show, Angel Face 713 does her show, and yet we all come together. So it is something that keeps the communication open between me and my teenager. Another thing I was thinking about is YouTube has got to be the best therapy out there. Can you think of all the people that are bedridden or or they can't leave their house that aren't even allowed to get out to see a rock and roll show or a country western show and now they have all sorts of bands they can see all that they have to do is one click and you're at a kid rock concert or one click and you can see the original Hank Williams I mean where in the world can that happen where you can bring music right into people's living rooms and it also provides lonely people with company a lot of these bloggers talk back and forth about the death of their loved ones and they get their support here on YouTube so Regardless, if I'm not famous yet, I've learned so much from being here, and I see haters as right. I do have a celebrity complex. I really do. I've had it since I was about five, and I dressed up and told my brothers I was Marilyn Monroe. At that point, they knew they were in for it. And my father, he said, girl, you make Erica Kane and all my children look like an amateur. So yes, I do have a celebrity complex. So, on my 500th episode, I just wanted to bring up some of the points of what I have learned here, what I have gained here, and I just love my YouTube friends. You all know who you are, so I'll say peace out, have a rockin' fun week, and thank you for number 500.